and we've got Chris in California. Chris, obviously not the start you wanted to get off How you to doing? on Friday night. Hi, Chris. Oh, great to see you so happy to talk to us. I don't normally get that response. It's lovely. Yeah. Um, obviously not the result you wanted on Friday night, but it was, of course, Manchester United. One thing I've got to ask you, though, is there's rumours in the UK this week that have come out that potentially Claude Puel's under pressure with his job already. What do you make of that? Well, um, honestly, it's just ha it's, it's what happens in the game. Sometimes we don't want um, the result, but sometimes we don't get the result we want. But I, I think everything's going to be fine, you know, knowing the fact that we actually played United. We played better in that game. We're just quite unfortunate that United won the game, you know, which happens in the game as well. But right now, Leicester, Leicester is not, did not play so badly. So the game against Wolves, I think we're going to beat them. If we realise when Conte left the other season, it was difficult for the team to adjust around yeah. around not having yeah. him. Now we have, um, we lost Mares as well. Mares was also one of the um, important people last season. So it take a time. It's going to take time to get around it. But Leicester, trust me, Leicester is going to perform very well this season. They're quite complete right now, especially with the new inclusion of James Madison. He really impressed me in the last game. Yeah, he certainly impressed me as well. Have you got a mini mini Leicester fan there behind you? Is that, <laughs> is that little boy trying to get in, in the shop? Yeah, the tell you, come, come, yeah. <laughs> That's what we like to see. It's my daughter. That's my daughter. See her? <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, is that a mini Foxes fan? Very now, I can actually tell you, Chris, that the Carabao, the League Cup draw is taking place at the moment. And Leicester have...